everyone and welcome back to another SM Scrapper video. In this video I'm going to show you a tag that I made for my friend Janet. Um, she is Nana JL54 on YouTube. Um, go check her out. Um, I made her this tag because I um, sent her a rack and I wanted to show you what I did. So I wanted to use this stamp for anything that I made for her because she loves these kind of flowers. and. You must have seen this on my haul video from Two Peas in a Bucket. I love this. And you must have seen it in other cards because I've used this quite some times after I got it. I really like it a lot. It's super huge. Look at my hand. I mean, look. You know, my hand's little, but still, it's huge. I think it's like four and a half by four and a half or something like that. Or, yeah, I think that's what it is. So anyways, so I used this stamp for this. And the first thing I did, I covered the lightweight chipboard with some paper cardstock and then um, I colored it in the back with this starburst stain, the cocoa bean copper um, and then I distressed the edges using the poinsettia red gold then what I did also I took some doilies and distressed those and for those I used some glimmer mist in the English ivy I used some distress ink in um, crushed olive and I also used a little bit of this starburst thing which I can never pronounce it's rod rodeneron red rose I think that's how you pronounce it I don't know um, so um, that's what I did then I took a piece of cardstock and I colored the edges using the poinsettia red gold you know to match the edge then I took another piece of cardstock and it layered it on top I distressed um, that with the um, vintage photo distressing then I stamped using the barn door you know I stamped the uh, flowers in that color and then I took my stamping up script stamp French script stamp this is an old old stamp from like 2001 I believe um, they have a new French script but it's different it looks different than that right now um, I used that and I stamped it with walnut stain which is right over here but the walnut straight walnut stain distressing so I layered those together and then I put the whole piece on dimensionals and on the back I used the poinsettia red gold and I covered the whole entire space I think you could see the gold there and the shimmer it's really nice this is just my information in the back I'm gonna write whatever I'm gonna write to her there I used some fibers that match all the colors in the tag and then I put a little charm with a garment pin right over here and this looks similar to that flower so this is the tag I made for Janet. I hope she likes it and I hope you like it too. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment and um, please rate and subscribe. And that's it. That's all I have to show you today. So thanks for watching. Bye.